What's going on guys? Um, today I'm on the boat uh, by a request of a couple people I've uh, wanted to go ho go ahead and do a video about the uh, upgrades that we've done to the boat uh, on this 2004 Mastercraft X-Star. Uh, just gonna go through things such as like the stereo, uh, the speakers, all that, uh, our ballast that we have, and uh, things like the sea deck as well. And then kind of how long we've had it, uh, what you kind of expect with those upgrades, how much they'll cost, and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into going over those things. So stick around. All right, so first I'm gonna start with ballast. Uh, when we first got the boat, it came with nothing but the stock hard tanks and, and this uh, 2004 X-Star. Uh, it has a thousand pounds, so it's gonna be, uh, it has a 500 here in this for the center which would be KGB and then in the corners it's pretty far forward is situated about here there and there are 250s for the port and starboard so we do have buttons on this boat and we also do have uh, sensors for them but those do not work you kind of just wait till the water spills out the side of the boat and that's how you know it's full all right, so next, here's kind of what that ballast uh, looks like for us. Uh, I'll start with wakeboarding. Um, so when we wakeboard, we like to fill, uh, we'll just hit fill on the ports, KGB and the starboard. And uh, we'll basically get both of these sacks. Both of these are 910 pound uh, wake makers. This came with as a kit from wake makers. And uh, we, can, we can fill that up about three, three quarters of the way. Uh, so maybe you have like 700 pounds on there. This is assuming no people in the boat, so maybe you can get 700 pounds in each one. And then here in the front, we'll fill up uh, this bag right here with a, a tsunami pump. And uh, I th we usually get it about this high, about seat level. And if I was to guess, that's also maybe 600-ish pounds. Uh, what it is, it's, just this, it's the same thing as these bags that we have in here. But since we have an extra one, we throw it up here in the front. And uh, we just don't fill it up all the way. Because if we have 900 pounds up there, you would sink the nose. And so kind of cost for that kit. I think when we got it back in 2017, I think. Um, the kit was, I want to say it was like $500 for the rears. And then you can also get a kit that gets a... Uh, get the bags for underneath both of these seats but that does take away pretty much all the storage under the front seats I think that's like a there's like two fifties that you put under each seat and then you have to plumb that into the uh, KGB and KGB and it'll flow out of here and fill up those around the front but price for that uh, I think this rear kit right here this one is five hundred dollars uh, around there and it includes the hoses the plumbing everything you need all you need is the pumps to hook up to because uh, the system already does uh, just connect into your existing ballast system so it overflows from your existing uh, ballast tanks into uh, those overflow bags same thing for the kit here in the front um, I think that one was also around $500 so if you were to get the front kit and then also the rear kit uh, you would be running around a thousand also if you are noticing uh, we did uh, break the uh, our hydraulic for this one, so that's why that is laying over like that. <laughs> they are a lot heavier than we thought they were. All right, so next I'm gonna talk about the uh, interior of the boat, the upholstery. Uh, we did when we got the boat in 2017. It had a whole bunch of cracks, uh, kind of like you, the ones you see here, but even worse, this entire thing was like splitting open and like over here, kind of like this one as well. That was splitting open, but much worse. Um, but we got it done in 2020, and that was approximately, I want to say, close to $8,000 after taxes. Uh, it is a quality job that we got done here. So I would say it is worth it. It makes it almost feel like a brand new boat. We added in lines like this black stripe here, this black stripe here. Other than that, we kind of just changed the color, stuck with the same same scheme there. We added this black stripe here. But overall, pretty happy with the uh, color scheme. 
And if I uh, put this down, you can kind of see it underneath there and there. It all kind of, the floor really matches it well. But next, I'm going to hop into the C deck and kind of how we got that done. All right, so next, the uh, floors, the C deck, the Gator Step. Uh, the brand we have here, we got a kit from Gator Step. It comes with all that. We got, uh, well, this was aftermarket. This is included with our seat redo. Uh, we got like these pieces here, that one over there. And they got the floor pieces that comes with a few different pieces and that gets you the floor things as well. As well as the front deck pieces. When we bought the boat, it had snap-in carpet. Uh, but it was all kind of falling apart with age. Uh, but those pieces together, I want to say it was maybe $1,500. It might have been less. Uh, since then, the prices have gone up. Inflation, things like that. Materials. But it was a pretty good deal for what it is. And uh, it's lasted since 2017. But these pieces right here and right here, those are custom. So we, whenever we got the interior redone, the boat didn't really come originally come with a walkthrough. So we had them uh, build it so that there would be a hard piece to stick something to right here, and also remove the cushion from this and just make it plastic. So the boat has like the same vinyls underneath there and underneath that, and these pieces are stuck to there. Uh, we got our sea deck through Gator Step, and they sent us. Uh, things that we can just create the size that we want our pieces to be and then from there uh, we send it back to them and they send us back these pieces that we can then stick on there just like every other kit that they sell and I want to say that those two pieces together were maybe $400 it wasn't too much but they're custom pieces uh, for the sea deck as well you can get we got it to match the same design that kind of flows through the rest of the boat and so the scheme kind of continues going all the way back to this one deck. And these kits, they do sell like each part individually, like swim platform and then interior side deck. So that if you do damage some pieces, you can get them replaced and uh, you don't have to pay a whole arm and a leg to replace the entire kit. All right, so next I'll do the stereo, but we have wet sounds all the way around up here we have two rev tins and then we have a i want i don't know if it, what size it is either 12 or 15 inch ported sub here and then we also have an open air 10 inch right here this ported sub takes up a decent amount of our storage right here it's this entire big box right there and it ports out through that vent underneath the driver's seat. And then over here on the passenger side, we have all of our amps. We have uh, two wet sounds amps and uh, one JL, one JL amp. But it, those three amps run all of our speakers and I think our sub has uh, its own dedicated speaker or its, its own dedicated amplifier. And to run this setup, we do have three interstate batteries. Uh, Two of those are ran in series. Those two of them are for the uh, sound system and the amplifiers. And then the other one's just for the engine. With the stereo system, we also got the JL Media Master uh, head units. We have one right here. And then we also have one down here on the back. Uh, they're pretty good. You can adjust the, the sub and then you have the our, we have zone one and zone two. Our zone one's all of our interior speakers, and our zone two is just the tower speakers. So you can blast the music out the back and not uh, worry about destroying the ears of everybody inside the boat. A cool feature I kind of added recently is uh, I put the car thing over here. So uh, for those of you for those of you not familiar, Spotify has this product called uh, the car thing, and kind of what it does is it Bluetooths to your phone as well as uh, as well as when your phone's Bluetooth to your head unit and then you can control your music from this at this as well as there and so that whenever I have this on have this on or the boat on 
I can control the music from there so that if a passenger sitting over in the uh, passenger seat here, they can control the music without having to ask the driver to change the song or anything like that. So I thought that was pretty cool because it's not wired or anything at all, it's just all wireless and Bluetooth. Alright, so price. Um, this was a more expensive system for sure, but it's definitely worth it. A really good upgrade from the stock uh, stock system that comes with the boat from the factory. Um, we, you could add another set of uh, Rev 10s up here, but uh, these are already plenty loud and uh, those per set I think are like $1,500 so uh, it could be worth the sum it just depends on what your use is so I'll start with our amplifiers uh, our amplifiers I want to say they're probably in the thousand dollar range for each one of those they are higher end what sounds and uh, JBL but they get the job done well next the uh, ported sub I believe that by itself was like three grand, but for the audio quality you get, it's nothing even close to uh, what you get on a new boat. Like you don't get the same bass that you get on a new boat from that. Uh, so I think that that is worth it. And then, uh, like I said a minute ago, the pair of what sound speakers on the tower are about fifteen hundred dollars each. And then uh, all of our Revo, I think these are eights. All these Revo 8s that we have inside, we have six of them, are about, I want to say it's 250 a pair. So three pairs of that. We did also opt for the RGB package. So all of our speakers, you can kind of see it right here. You have the RGB lighting in all the speakers, all the cup holders, down there, over there, all the way around. And I think the cup holders, those are about 300 for the whole set. And then the the Revo speakers in the interior, those came with it. And then the rings for the tower, uh, I think were about 100 a piece. So overall, after uh, labor and things like that, materials, wires, because they did have to rewire the entire system, the stereo came out to be about $15,000. All right, lastly, most recently, we added these headlights on the boat or docking lights is what they call them um we did that ourselves. we they it's kind of the exact same kit they put on brand new boats today um but i wired it into a button on the dash and so that anytime we're pulling up to a dock or another boat at night you can those those things are just as bright as almost car headlights so I think that's a pretty good uh, investment. I think we got those for maybe like 150 bucks. I already had the wires, so yeah, it's about all that costs. So overall, if you add all the upgrades we've done to the boat, I think there's about 25-ish thousand dollars of upgrades done here. Uh, that's if you don't include the amount of engine rebuilds that have happened to this boat. Uh, that's a different video as well. Maintenance is hard on the 8.1 liter uh, but yeah uh, it's kind of up to you whether you think all these things are worth it but here we have a maybe sixty thousand dollars invested into a 2004 boat that feels like a brand new boat so you decide for yourself is it worth it to you well that's gonna do it for this video uh, I hope you enjoyed my review of kind of all the upgrades we've done to these to this uh, 2004 X star and uh, if you have any other questions, leave it in the comments and uh, I'd be glad to answer them for you. Peace.